David, can you talk about your process of, of ending up here? It seemed like your recruitment, how it played out, was interesting in the way Florida kind of discovered you and how you ended up committing. What, what was that process like? Um, I just kind of wanted to go out and explore and see different places. And Florida holds the opportunity to have both a good school and uh, be successful in football. So I uh, chose to come here. Did, did, but did they find you or did you kind of come after them? I had, like I heard a story that you had came on a visit and like gave them your highlight tape or something like that. I mean, <laughs> well, one day they just kind of like showed up and they like, offered me and I didn't think they were, you know, I wasn't originally going to come to an SEC school. I was going to try to go like somewhere like, in the pack. But I, uh, my dad told me I'd just take one visit here and I came here and I loved it. And I, uh, I forgot to tell the coaches I was coming. Like, I think I kind of mentioned like I might come, but I didn't really tell them I was coming. So I just kind of showed up and then they, they took care <laughs> of me. <laughs> I mean, was it a surprise you walk in there like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was standing in the, the gator room and I called them up and I was like, hey, uh, where are you guys at? And he's like, oh, you know, we're just hanging out. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm down here in the gator room. They're like, oh, really? Who were you talking to? Uh, it was the recruiter. Mm -hmm. I can't remember his name right now. John Haskins. Okay. So, and what was on that tape you showed me? Uh, I don't know my highlights. <laughs> what, what was on? I mean, what what kind of player were you in high school? I mean, did you just take over games in Wyoming football? I mean, I, mean, I was pretty mean sometimes. Floor, so that's, that's unusual. That's what I'm saying. So you must have manhandled some people, I would imagine. Yeah, I did, I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was mean a few times. I'd go out there, you know, get mm -hmm. kind of the extra hit in. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really necessary, mm -hmm. but, you know. That's what I like to do. Did you have any reservations about coming here and facing you know, SEC competition? I mean, obviously you've shown now at this point that you're more than capable from based on what all the coaches and players are saying about you. But when you were in high school, did you have any reservations about, you know, do I want to make this jump? Or? I mean, not really. I was just kind of, I mean, to some extent, like my first day I came here, I remember two kids fought. And the coaches just kind of like watched it, and I was like, "What the heck did I get myself into?" <laughs> like they just stood there and just watched them go out, and I was like, "What the heck?" But after that, I kind of, you know, figured it out. And but that first day, I was like, "What the heck did I get myself into?" <laughs> now, at what point last year was there ever a point when you realized, you know, in practice or something, that hey, I can I can play with these guys? I'm, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm here. Um, I don't know, not really. I guess you never had that kind of realization at all? Uh, not really. No, okay. Sir. And then um, with the new coaching staff, uh, specifically Chris Rump, what are your impressions of, of them so far and him as a D-line coach? Uh, I love Coach Rump. He's a really cool guy. Uh, he's really down to earth and he's kind of, uh, I really don't know how to explain His personality works well with all the players and uh, we mesh pretty well. So, What kind of expectations do, you, do they have for you this year? Uh, I never really thought about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, they expect me to probably play well, get my assignments done. Uh, Coach Rump talked about me uh, not having a, a great football knowledge. So I'm working on that with, uh, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, where I'm supposed to be, what are people behind me doing, you know, just kind of learning the whole scheme and then, like, watching the offense down in distance, you know, just get, get all the basics down really well so I can, you know, play faster. Now, now expectations, that knowledge. The same expectations for yourself? Yes, sir. Do you have those or do you have higher um, no, I just really need to get those done, and then I just got to do the basic things, like get bigger, faster, and stronger, you know, think quicker. With all that, I think I should be able to play pretty well. And then the knowledge, does that just come from just spending more time in the film room and coach's office? Yeah, that's definitely what it's going to come from, because I'm definitely going to have to come in a lot, you know, talk to them about it, you know, kind of learn everything, because I never really learned anything in Wyoming. It was just kind of like run up, hit the guy, and then like, you know, shed the block, <laughs> yeah. get the ball. It was that simple. So now, you know, there's schemes, and I got to do a bunch of checklists and, you know, go through and make sure I know what I'm doing.